We love Young Justice and you should too. Next up on the list of characters we're going to cover is the little Spitfire Artemis. Artemis was born and raised in Gotham City with her parents Huntress and Sportsmaster who are known assassin. Her mother was crippled during a crime she was committing with her husband and ended up taking a fall for him. This left poor Artemis and her sister to be raised by their father, which ends up making her sister run away from home only to take up the family business with a life of crime. Her father is the one who actually taught her how to use a bow. And when her mother finally got out of prison, she told Artemis' father that she had gone straight and wanted Artemis to do the same. Artemis overheard this conversation, put on her costume, and went out to fight crime. Artemis ends up joining the team after she ends up seeing Superboy, Kid Flash, and Robin fighting the android Amazo during one of her patrols. She ends up saving Kid Flash with an arrow, leaving the team to believe that it was actually Speedy who saved them. When the team got back to the headquarters, Artemis was there with Batman and Green Arrow. Green Arrow made up her cover story saying that she was his niece and new sidekick and that she was joining the team. The team, well, mainly Kid Flash, had a hard time accepting her at first, blaming her for every little thing that went wrong on a mission. But if you saw our Kid Flash video, you know how things turned out with them. Artemis was very secretive about her past and constantly lied to her friends about it so that they wouldn't find out about her villainous parents and that the new villain Cheshire was actually her big sister. She eventually does tell the team about her past when Superboy reveals how he was able to fly and Miss Martian revealed her secret about actually being a white Martian and showing the team her true form. This reveal ended up turning into an elaborate plan to get back at Lex Luthor, Queen Bee, and Artemis' father, Sportsmaster. Now we called her the little Spitfire at the start of the video for a very good reason, and that is that she has a very aggressive attitude. It really comes out when people argue with her or belittle her, making her believe that she always has to prove herself. Because of this, she is always ready to jump into the action. We also called her the Little Spitfire because that's what she ends up becoming to Wally. Just like Wally, she gets dragged back into the hero business in Season 2 when she was also ready to quit. Without revealing too many spoilers, the only thing I'll say about it is that she ends up taking on the identity of Tigress. Now, while Artemis doesn't have any superpowers, she is a very skilled marksman and uses many different types of arrows. She has also been shown to hit the mark when firing up to three arrows at once. Besides using a bow, she is also very fast and has amazing endurance, as well as great agility when it comes to reacting to danger and dodging attacks. This was thanks to the intensive training that her father put her through. Just like all the other members of the team, she also has a stealth mode added to her normal green costume. When she presses the arrow on her chest, her costume changes to a dark gray for stealth missions. That's some more information about the Young Justice version of Artemis. What's the next character you would like to learn about? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more great videos. I'm Dan with CTV, and I will see you guys next time.